went back to Pan, um, dropped off stuff in the bank, all that good stuff. Now I am headed to Baronessi, because enough time has passed that I kind of want to go there anyway, see if I can get any further, building rapport with the various guides there. And also I want to see if one of them could be the lover that Langley's looking for. Also, there was a prospect to bring three caged catches to Paranesi, so I've got that on board as well. And on my way there, let's explore this patch of darkness here. Sorry, buddy. Stony organ, uncanny specimen. Holly wobbles where you are never alone in the dark. Ooh, what's there? Oh, undeparted. Normally I reduce my terror, but it's actually pretty low. <laughs> Should I try to pry out its eyes? 33% chance of success. I still have the uh, the rats equipped, so I still have the plus 10 hearts, not the plus 10 iron. What happens if I fail this? I'm worried it's like not going to be dead and one of my crew is going to be killed. Let's try it. Partial success, okay. Scrimshaw. You work with a chisel, jamming it under the stones and prying them out. They glisten wetly, their colors dark and sullen. All the time you listen to the labored pumping of the undeparted's lungs, working like a bellows even though they're no longer connected to a throat or a mouth. To pry another eye free, if it's still alive, can that eye still watch you? <laughs> I think I saw I was getting aggro just a minute ago from something up here. I think there might have been another undeparted. I don't hear it though, so I don't think it actually aggroed.
Hmm. Let's get my hole back. Almost maxed. Let's get this last patch here. Let's go down and then over to this thing and then up to Paranesi. Oh no! Hmm. Let's get bronze wood. Failure. Seventy nine percent. Oh, I don't have the plus ten iron. Right. Uncanny specimen. Your retronaut is apologetic. It found nothing, but could it still have some camembert? Of course, buddy. You can always have camembert. All you can eat buffet all the time. That seems to be it for this spot. I'll see you at Paranesi. Let's finish the prospect. Ooh, pretty good profit. About a thousand. Plus a mystery. They have ministry approved literature as a bargain. Heck yeah. Explore the gardens. Contemplate the sculptures. That reduces tear. Alright, let's go in. So, I'm looking for somebody who's handsome and courageous, maybe a little bit of a prick. Like, I'm wondering if it could be any of these guides. I don't know. Let's go with the gallant reformer. Chaplain with an amiable smile and gray street hair. I think we have a little bit of rapport with them. Oh yeah, port report. Do we... We need rapport with the reformer. Eight, I have two. Ooh, you need a lot of rapport. Let's get information on the other chaplains. But let's go back to the flutist. Ask her about the rules of Paranassi. Yeah, this is the thing we failed. A little bit better chance now that I've got the plus 10 hearts. But do a couple other things first. Tell her a story. Tear has fallen. My bond with the flutist has strengthened. Oh, I think the stronger my bond, the greater the chance of this succeeding. Influenced by that and hearts. Ah. Back to the reformer. Shall we begin? Right, my turn to talk some courage or sense into the prisoners. I'm not really exactly sure what I'm doing. I can persuade them to repent 30%. Ugh. A cautionary tale. I think that's what I did before, and I think it increased my rapport, so that's good. Yeah, let's do that. Gain two rapport. So, four in total. And that's it for them. Whoa. A follower? The gallant reformer strides before you, coat flapping, up narrow stairs over precarious bridges beneath crumbling bartisans. 
The architecture seems to have changed since you last walked here, but it's as jumbled and oppressive as ever. You become gradually aware of cold breath on the back of your neck. Something is following behind you, its footfalls perfectly matching your own. Oh, oh, remember the first rule of Paranesi, the only one that we've learned? Don't look back. That was it, right? Let me pull it up. Oh yeah, we've done these two things for Langley Hall. Mm. Yes, rule number one, don't look back. Continue walking, stiff-necked, don't look back. You force yourself not to look back. After a few moments, you no longer feel the breath on your neck. From the corner of your eye, you catch a shadow flitting between patches of darkness. The thing behind you is gone. I wonder what would have happened if I did look back. Hmm. I remember I pissed off the glistening deformer when I told somebody not to deform, basically. <laughs> I don't know, let's go with them again. How much rapport? Need five. Wait, is the... Th I think with the other person it was called rapport. This person is called deference to the deformer. Is it matching the first letter of that word with the first letter of their name? They're doing a lot of word games with the names of the, the guides. <clears throat> Follow them. Yeah, convincing the prisoners to stay out of the tunnels. Let's not do that. I guess... I guess the only thing I can really do is try to persuade the prisoner to enter the tunnel. 37% chance of success. You offer words of encouragement, but as they leave your mouth, they sound like platitudes. The volunteer backs away further. If I'm going to alter myself, I think it'd be better off taking up carpentry or something, he says. The other prisoners drift away. The deformer shakes his head sadly. Hmm. Unchanged at zero, which means that would have lowered my deference. I don't think I should do the deformer anymore. It'd be very, very hard. Actually... Okay, I lose... I lose deference if I do the mirror route, where I convince them not to change. And I have something like a 30-40% chance of convincing them to alter themselves physically. And if I don't succeed at that, I'm also going to lose deference, which means on average I'm going to lose deference, right? There's like a 30-40% chance of losing it. Or no, 34% chance of gaining deference. That's my success rate. And then the remaining 60 or whatever percent, I'm going to lose deference. Which means it's probably completely pointless to try to do it, actually. Yeah, you're just not for me. Sorry. Let's go over to the House of Rods and Chains. If nothing else, I want to pick up the crew that I left to go on an expedition there to find Amber. And I'm also supposed to plead with somebody with that weird twig-limbed being down in Paranesi. They wanted me to go to the House of Rods and Chains to plead with somebody to do something. I don't remember what. And let's explore along the way. We got this little unexplored region on the rim. Let's go clockwise. Wait, I'm sorry, what? What did that say? The Marshall Sea. I like that name.
unsettled dreams. Seek company. Failure. A crossroads. You can get a terror reduction from that. in the night. Is this Langley Hall? Oh yeah, that's the person asking, can we go to Langley Hall? If I say yes, I think we lose terror, but we they also make a mistake working as they're distracted and hurt the hole. Actually, I don't get any terror reduction, reduction at all, just the hole damage. here, can I? Exile's abandoned. Maybe I can. It looks like it's on the edge of the map, but like the screen isn't scrolling off the edge of the map, so I think I'm fine, actually. Yeah. of rods and chains. Hmm. Let's get my people back. What's the deal right now? Caged catches? Cool, I'll probably grab that if I have the space. Uh, I'm trying to figure out where these all Go. I keep forgetting. Commingling on the carapace, rubbery men from within the House of Rods and Chains have gathered around a fallen spire on the surface. They hold their heads high, staring out at the stars as if hoping to catch a glimpse of their lost exile somewhere deep in the Eleutherian darkness. One by one, their warbling ulu ululations rise. Trade gold and amber for other flavors. Create a spectrum of amber for something, or just witness it. I don't know, let's try to trade the golden amber. A few stragglers are exchanging pieces amongst themselves. The rubbery men salivate at the sight of golden amber. You have your pick of other colors. Let's go with green. The color of jealousy glinting with temptation. The rubbery men quickly snatch away your golden amber before you can change your mind. The spire? Oh right, that's where Mr. Brawlicorn is. Retrieve my crew. Chunk of blue and five chunks of soft amber. Alright, let's send out another expedition. Wait, can I buy... Yeah, I can buy supplies here, so... So that'll be fine, I'm not gonna run out of supplies. The house? Wait, I can attend another Lament of Exile? 
I guess this is a different one, just an Eleutherian mystery. For passage to Rubbery Man. Port report. Let's go deeper. Deeper. And send people out for Amber. Now, who am I supposed to ask for that being? Probably Mr. Barleycorn? Yeah, here it is. Request a reprieve for the Brittle Servitor. A delicate subject. It will need to be approached carefully. We are not in the habit of granting clemency, Mr. Barleycorn examines a document on his desk. Especially not to the servitor of a rival kingdom. I see no reason why the creature should not remain in Paranesi indefinitely. However, the gauzed figure taps its pen thoughtfully against the desk. I could reduce its sentence. If you bring me something to read, it glances at a mound of half-mangled books piled on one end of the room. Something wholesome. You want something wholesome? Okay. A consignment of ministry approved literature. I probably have some on me, right? Yeah. Yeah, I've got six. Mr. Barleycorn lays down its pen to consider you. Mr. Barleycorn takes a book from the consignment and turns straight to the final page. After a few moments, it sighs. It snaps the book shut. Satisfactory. The servitor's sentence will be reduced, but it must still change beyond recognition before Paranesi will permit its release. Okay. I still don't know if I really want to free this thing. I'm just doing it because it's interesting, but like, I don't know anything about the servitor other than it was a dick to me. Should I go to the shapeling vats and try to shape something? I guess sure. That's not the right place. Back into the house. I find this place very confusing. Okay, I can only add soft amber. Three chunks. Hmm... Let's, let's add Navartine gemstones, right? Those are so expensive. That's got to produce something. The spark of life. A questionable garnish. The rubbery men grind the gemstones into a galaxy of glittering points, each swallowing and vomiting a constellation into the vat. As you stir, the mixture shines with a light that occasionally darts from corner to corner. Complete the process? Ooh, hello! The rubbery men lean in as you break the hard surface of the mixture to get to the amber inside. Bright green amber glints back at you. <coughs> okay, I found a recipe. Let me put that in my notes. Let's do another one. Got... Oh, I have six chunks of soft amber left. Let's do it a couple times then. Hmm... Hmm... I know I tried to add one caged catch before, and that didn't work. Oh, I only have one. I wanted to add two. Yeah, I think I tried tea as well. I don't think that did anything. But maybe I put tea plus something else in. I don't remember. Let's just do more gemstones. Get some more green. We could always actually mix that with something else. Like, okay, how about that? Plus a caged catch. Mm, just one chunk of soft damper. So, failure, basically. And of course, I could try the colored ambers. God, but it's so hard to get. Like... 
What can I get from it? I mean, I won't know unless I try, right? I mean, it's gotta be that plus T. <laughs> Hmm. Hey, it converted it back to soft amber. Okay. Well, goodbye. Okay, I think that's it for the House of Rods and Chains. Decided to head from the House of Rods and Chains to Caduceus. Mr. Menagerie is here. I need a port report from here to give to the Khan at the Empyrean. Um, I already actually got one from here a while ago, but then I turned it in at Pan, so I just need to make sure that I don't turn any of my port reports into Pan. Because <laughs> you can't choose which ones you turn in, it just turns them all in. And I also want to see if I have enough points of inspiration to do the thing here. There was... I think I needed like two or three points of inspiration to actually have a chance of continuing here, and I didn't have them at the time. Or I needed to keep them for Langley Hall or something. Mr. Benagerie. Hmm, let's see. I mean, there's no reason to keep showing it the badge. I think it'll be pretty clear when it's the end of the journey, right? Wait, I can... I can buy another Intrepid Cavi? What? That's weird. You can buy more just as long as you don't have them in your inventory. Like mine's in the bank. Which is weird. They're keeping good care of it, I hope. Um, let's listen to a story of things past. Mr. Menagerie gestures to the frescoes where devils in rose masks walk in procession to a great mirror. Once they were servants of the light. Their eager seneschals. Their celebrated cupbearers. Their willing chamberlains, but they craved to feast at the banquets they served. They were placed high, but not high enough. They began to dream of a time without chains. And so they fled, and so they fell. We bear our chains, or we break them, lest we be broken. Oh, the story thing doesn't end. Um, like it doesn't make Mr. Benagri move on to another port. Oh dang, well then I could have been doing it all the while. Well, let's get something. I feel like I might even have the diffident bat. I, I actually don't know what I have. Maybe I have all of them. Well, let's just acquire nothing. Mr. Benagri will move on to another port. All right, where are you now? We return to the smoggy, clanking, singing, stamping, thronging, frantic stew pot of humanity. The blister of glass and steel in the heart of the garden. Isn't that new Winchester? Isn't it, um, hold on, there's... Is it the Garden King is the name of the sun that was in the Reach? It's in my notes. <clears throat> yeah, the Garden King. The Reach's son. Yeah, New Winchester. The winds of elsewhere. I think exploring the dark side of Caduceus lowered my tear. 42 down to 32. Nice. Alright, can we do the thing? Oh, let's get a port report, right? This just gives you descriptions, right? Yeah. Ah, oh, I need three moments of inspiration. 